Welcome, 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 welcome everybody into the Delmarva Sports Insider, the only live and local show dedicated to give you all local sports all the time. I'm sports director Trayvon Miles. That's right, and I'm Brandon Bosser. Trey, there could be some light <laughs> at the end of the tunnel. Finally, yes. we've got a big show in store tonight. Yeah, welcome on in. Another episode of DSI. Always good to gather for another episode of the greatest show in America. That's right, right Brandon, Trey. We got That's a lot right. to tackle tonight. Get it? No? Get I get it, Trey. Tackle? I get it. The yeah. folks at home are going to get it soon. Fans of high school athletics in the state of Delaware got a big time jolt yesterday afternoon when the state's Interscholastic Athletic Association voted to reverse a previous decision and allow fall sports to return beginning as soon as September 28th. 17 course, days away, Trey. Yes, over the course of the seven and a half hour meeting, the panel laid out multiple solutions to problems that ultimately made them decide to push fall sports back to March and April just over one month ago. Major key, the DIAA plan must be approved by the State Board of Education. They are set to meet on September 17th. That's right. Mark that down on your calendar, folks. If the Board of Ed approves, football will have nearly four weeks for training camp, followed by a seven-week regular season beginning on October 23rd and a two-week state tournament. That's very interesting right there. Yes. Other sports such as field hockey, volleyball, boys soccer, cross country would be allowed up to 12 games in their regular season. Now, we talked to longtime Delmar head coach David Hearn, and he took some time to chat with us. This is part of what he had to say about the situation. Our staff was happy. I, our, I know the kids around the area are real excited. Every Every, uh, all of our players are on, they're, they're just buzzing us on social media and they're, they're very excited. And that's all sports, uh, the hockey teams, all, I mean, they're thrilled and soccer players, about, but all our kids have been doing things you know, most of the summer. I, I can't see uh, the Board of Education voting against it. They, it. The last vote was close. It was like seven to two uh, to do what we're doing now. Uh, and it was defeated seven to two, but I think this one will be, uh, I think it's a no brainer. That's right, and uh, we'll see if Mr. Hearn is correct, but less than 24 hours after we saw the DIAA reverse course on their stance on fall sports today, MPSSA in Maryland made an yeah. announcement, and they're staying the course, Trey. They're sticking with their plan for the condensed seasons in 2021. Now, according to the newest information released today, winter, fall, and spring high school sports are scheduled to return beginning February 1st and will run through June 19th. Now, the winter season is scheduled to run from February 1st through March 27th, the fall from March 15th through May 8th, and the spring from April 26th to June 19th. Yeah, that's right. The Maryland Public School students were last in their classrooms on March 13th. No public school games have taken place since March the 7th. All 24 school districts in Maryland have started the academic year with online instruction. Here's reaction from Bennett head football coach Dustin Mills. Obviously, we want to play. I would love to get out there on the field, be with my guys, and do the things we have to do. Um, you know, and you see what Delaware is doing. You see what some other places are doing, and it's awesome for them. I think there's a lot of logistical concerns, even if we were to play, like, say, starting in October. Um, well, it's certainly not ideal. We're making the best of what we can do. And with the hopes of, you know, we get out there sooner rather than later. So, obviously, there is so much to break down in both states we cover. Uh, one got some really good news. The other... Not really so much. That's right. We want to focus on the good right now. Barring a surprise vote from the Board of Ed, football practices in Delaware will begin in 17 yes. days. And here's longtime Delmar head coach David Hearn in this week's Insider Interview. Our staff was happy. I, our, I know the kids around the area are real excited. Every, every, uh, all of our players are on. They're, they're just buzzing us on social media, and they're, they're very excited. And that's all sports. Uh, the hockey teams, all the, I mean, they're thrilled. And soccer players, about, but all our kids have been doing things you know, most of the summer. And we've been doing some workouts. So the kids are excited. And coaches are buzzing around trying to figure out right now we've got to get our schedules back on. You know, when, when does this start? When guys who don't work at the school, they've got to figure out their schedules. So it's, and then buses and all the things that go with the challenges for starting up any time of year are really, we'll, we'll see if we can do it. We saw some proposals earlier in the year not to have a championship. It looks like we will have championship weeks and playoffs going forward. So what are your thoughts on that? 
Well, I, I think it's nice to have a goal to play for, whether it's a conference title or a state title. And I know they're going to shrink down the size of the tournament, go back to the four-man, four-team tournament that it used to be, and that's fine. Uh, just having the season during the fall, I, I, we're just very happy about that. I, I was dreading the February-March concept. I know some states are going to try that. But I know what it's like around here in February and March. You can't hardly get outside for practices. And it, it would have been a mess besides old people get cold fast. I was trying to figure out what kind of clothes I've got. But it's, it's just tough playing in another part of the season. I, I really like the, what, what's happened here. And it, it'll be a little shorter season. But maybe that, that can be good and bad. And sometimes, uh, you know, you, you're glad to get it done. If you make the tournament, let, let's stop here and go ahead and play and try to win something. But I'm glad they've got a tournament. I'm glad our season's in the fall, and the little shorter season I don't think will affect anybody. Governor Carney a couple weeks ago gave his, seemed to give his blessing to the concept of what we're doing, and I think that will help in, uh, and everything I've seen from DPH and the, the SMAC committee, all the different medical committees, that there's so many of them, uh, and now DIAA, I, I can't see uh, the Board of Education voting against it. They, it. The last vote was close. It was like seven to two. Uh, to do what we're doing now, uh, and it was defeated 7-2. to two. But I think this one will be, uh, I think it's a no-brainer. Brandon, as we said, the Board of Education is now set to vote on September 17th, and if that goes well, we will see our first football game of the season five weeks from tonight. Wow. That's right, Trey. It's exciting. Yeah, and not only is Hearn excited, but so many around the state are. Trey, what do you think of this decision? Yeah, well, I think a few things happened in this decision. First thing I want to say uh, all about this is kudos to the DIAA for deciding that however long this took, they were going to get this done for the kids, for the parents requesting, and in accordance to safety with everyone. I think there's a big difference between the two states as well as the governing bodies in high school sports in those states also have big differences. One advantage for Delaware, I'll say, uh, Delaware has a smaller size, right? Yeah. A fairly small state, not a lot of high schools, all of them within a three hour radius of one another. Not saying that has a lot to do with where they would play, but the other thing that people are slowly beginning to see is the anonymity of the MPSSAA. As an organization, they are almost like a ghost. <laughs> you know they're there, but there is not much proof. There's Very no transparency true, with the MPSSAA. I'm sure people knew there was a meeting today, but it wasn't announced and offered publicly like the DIAA did. The true. DIAA took a lot of lumps in their process of waiting to make a decision and not giving guidance, but they had been forthright and transparent the entire time. The MPSSA cannot say the same, and I think not only are the fans and the players disappointed, I think the entire state is tonight. Yeah, that is true, and DIAA has their meetings online. Parents can yep. go on there, and they have uh, public discussions every single time that they have meetings. So that is something to be concerned with MPSSAA is their transparency in all of none. this. There's but none. I, but I think the reversal in the decision came because of the fact that the Division of Public Health has given the okay for football and wrestling to yeah. continue. I mean, there's still a lot to work out here, though. Executive Director of DIAA Donna Polk said that three schools, we don't know who, yeah. said they were looking to skip out on fall sports entirely still, so we're not looking at the entire state participating in this, of whether schools can afford the transportation for these athletes as well. Only 23 kids allowed on a bus at a, at a time right now. <laughs> and wow. there's the question of, how are you going to hold fall sports at some of these schools when you're not sending students to classrooms yes. every day? Yeah. And then what type of scheduling will we see? But it's exciting for us <laughs> because obviously we've got sports to report on yes. in five weeks, like we said. So that is extremely exciting. And I was pumped up to hear the decision. I truly was. Yeah, there are, a, a, this thing is far from finished. There are a bunch of things that Delaware has to figure out. But give the DIAA credit for coming to this decision. They stayed online for seven and a half hours. Yes, yeah, grueling. We don't but know how long the MPSSA stayed on today. <laughs> Might have but, been seven minutes. But, Trey, I do yeah. want to add in one more thing. Uh, DIAA said that mask use will be mandated in all yeah. medium and high-risk sports, which includes football, basketball, baseball, softball, lacrosse, and yeah. wrestling. <laughs> so it will be very interesting it'll to see interesting. how some of these sports will be played uh, with those masks on yeah, for these let, athletes. Let's take a deep breath because we have sports back, yeah. uh, at least here locally, and for now that is good enough for us. All right, that's going to do it for the A Block. We're taking a quick commercial break. When we come back, we go down to the good old Commonwealth for our latest After the Whistle. That and more 
when Delmarva Sports Insider returns. This is David Hearn. I'm the head coach at Delmarva High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.